Kaduna State has a history of religious and communal clashes dating back to the 1980s, although there were years with little serious conflict. While marking the International Day of Peace, stakeholders highlighted Kaduna's strategic role in peace building across the country, emphasizing the importance of fostering harmony in this pivotal region. The theme of this year's International Day of Peace is a culture of peace. And culture is cultivated. So cultivating that culture of peace is a major, major responsibility for women. And therefore it's not surprising that the women are dominant in coming out to appeal to the people of Kaduna State, to their coast mothers and our sisters, to work very hard to cultivate a culture of peace. Religious leaders, activists, and peace-building stakeholders urge citizens to embrace alternative dispute resolution methods within their communities. This approach aims to foster dialogue and understanding, helping to mitigate conflict and build lasting peace. There are tenets by which uh, people of given religions are expected to live. And these tenets help. Uh, the moment uh, people adhere to these uh, tenets, then there is order in society. And once there is order in society, then uh, there is peace in society. Uh, you could see the economic situation now. Both the Christian and Muslim are facing the same challenge. So it is a right time for people of faith to come together, to work together, to promote peace so that Kaduna will be developed. Uh, the younger ones will have opportunity to go to school and there will be opportunity for people to even afford jobs. A highlight of the International Day of Peace was an endurance walk led by religious leaders, women's groups and peace advocates. M at promoting unity among the diverse ethnic communities in Kaduna State. This symbolic march underscored the collective commitment to fostering harmony and understanding in the region. Bella Musa, Trust TV News Kaduna.